The medium version of Stable Diffusion 3 has recently become available for download and local use. But how good is this free model compared to the so-called best AI image generator, Midjourney version 6? We'll compare both across several categories and decide which one is the best. We will generate images in different styles using the same prompt for both Midjourney and Stable Diffusion. They will get points based on their performance and the winner will be determined at the end. The first style is Photorealism. You can see that photorealism in Stable Diffusion 3 has not improved much compared to previous models. Images sometimes look too bright and faces have this strange glow. It also messes up the human anatomy and generates nightmares like this. When it comes to objects and distant shots though, you can see that it does a pretty good job and even nails the reflections. Midjourney on the other hand is known for its ability to create photorealistic humans and scenes. These points go to Midjourney. I think both Stable Diffusion and Midjourney are not that great at generating pixel art. Images sometimes look too chaotic, and if we zoom in you can notice that sometimes it's not even pixel art, but something more mosaic style like. Here is how DALI 3 handles pixel art for comparison. This one is a draw, 1 point each. Both did well with this style, but Midjourney portrayed the aesthetics more consistently throughout the images. The point goes to Midjourney. While I personally like Midjourney's images better, Stable Diffusion did a good job here as well. Each of them gets a point. This simple style was easy for both generators, but Midjourney's minimalist logos have fewer unnecessary details and artifacts. Midjourney gets this point.
While some images are pretty close in terms of quality, Stable Diffusion again has this problem with weird details and extra limbs on some characters. Midjourney's images were really great, and besides this, Midjourney has a special model just for anime aesthetics. This point goes to Midjourney. Stable Diffusion's images look ok, but it's pretty obvious that they weren't drawn by hand. Midjourney's images have a really natural look and can sometimes be confused with actual sketches drawn by a human. This point goes to Midjourney again. Both Table Diffusion and Midjourney handled this style surprisingly well. Table Diffusion's images look photorealistic and have the feel of old photographs, despite the strange glow effect that seems to be present in all images. This one is a tie. So the final score after image comparison is 8-3 in favor of Midjourney. We can also add points to Stable Diffusion for being a free model, whereas Midjourney is available only for at least a $10 monthly subscription, for more tools and flexibility, and for less censorship. Overall, Midjourney version 6 is much better than Stable Diffusion 3. Hopefully, Stable Diffusion will be able to catch up in the future, as it is the only open source and free AI image generator that we have. We'll keep you updated on our YouTube channel as well as on our website. Thanks for watching.